God comes. He said, in my presence there is fullness of joy. And at my right hand, he said, there are pleasures glory to God forevermore. The joy of the Lord is our strength today. And when the presence of God comes and the power of God comes, it doesn't matter what you've been going through or how your day's been going. Because God, the very one who came down from heaven, he said, I'm from above and you're from beneath. But he came down, Brother Gary, and he said, I'll pour out my spirit upon you. I will reveal myself by my spirit. Why, God, somebody help me preach. And the joy of the Lord, he said, in my presence, hallelujah, there is fullness of joy. Come on, give our God a hand clap of praise tonight. And then I've seen all of us and we'll come into the church and don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not criticizing anybody. We're in a real battle against the powers of hell. How many people know it's real? And we're in a battle and we're fighting a good fight of faith. We come into the church, man, and we're, we're beat down and we feel like, you know, our people, I know what people say. You can't just get the devil off your back in your own strength. It takes God in his power. And the enemy and God wanted me to show you this. And here's the enemy. He's the one that I call the cave. He's the one trying to keep you entrapped, enslaved, trying to keep you in between these walls of darkness. But all of a sudden, God shows up. And the powers of of hell begin to tremble because they hear the voice of God and they can hear the footsteps of a holy God coming to our rescue once again. And he shows up in the midst of Elijah's life and he will show up in the midst of your life when you're in trouble also because God said, you know what? You know what really draws me to my people? It's not when they're on the mountaintop, but he said in his word that God is a very present help in the time of trouble, hallelujah, in the time of your greatest need. God will show up, hallelujah, and he will show out in your life because you know he said in his word, his strength, hallelujah, is made perfect in our weakness. And well, I'm not talking about being weak spiritually, but I'm talking about when we're in a battle and we're, we're fighting it by faith and we're in the midst of this thing. And the first thing that Elijah did is what God does in the spiritual realm in our life. The cave, one time he was back here in the cave. When the presence of God came, he began to move forward, didn't he? See, when the presence of God, this is a great word. I don't want you to forget this word. I want you to meditate on this word. When the presence of God comes, I'm talking about the king of glory. I'm talking about the one who can say whatever he wants to say and do whatever he wants to do, but he'll never do wrong. He'll never come against you. He'll never hurt you. He'll never forsake us. God said, when I come, he said, all of a sudden, there'll be some space. There'll be a lot of space begin to take place. You'll begin to separate yourself. Or God will begin to separate us from that what was coming against. A lot of times we're oppressed. A lot of times we're beat down. You know why? Because the devil's scared of you. He doesn't like you, Sandra. He doesn't like you, Frida. He doesn't like this church. But I got some good gospel news. When God comes down, the enemy runs and we go for, my God, I feel God. And we go for, oh, hallelujah, I feel the Holy Ghost. It's like that song. I know it's a secular song, but I'm going to sing it. He said, give me three steps, mister. Give me three steps toward the door. That's what the devil does when, when God shows up. Give me three steps, mister, and you'll never see me no more. Amen. Hey, let me preach a little bit. Because the enemy knows that when God shows up, that's why. That's why. And he does everything he can, listen, to keep people from coming here. But you know why? Because God is in this place. His presence is here right now. The presence of God is in this place. Here, you know what song? Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. You remember that song? Glory to God, I feel God. And his presence comes. And you don't have to rebuke the devil no more. You don't have to get the word and jab him anymore. You don't have to fast or pray or jump or dance because God shows up in the presence of God and the enemy, the light comes and the enemy flees. 
all of a sudden the, the cave is a cave no more. There is no more enclosure. There is no more darkness. Because I want you to know that the only thing about the darkness is when there's darkness. But when light comes, there is no more darkness. Amen. Praise God. So when the light comes, the darkness flees. Come on. The presence of God, the Holy One of Israel. He said, I've come down upon a cherub and I did fly. I was wroth when I saw that destruction or the, or the devil trying to destroy my people. And he said, I came down upon the cherub and I came down to war. I came down to deliver you. I came down to get you out of that place that you can't get yourself out of. He said, what doest thou here, Elijah? A long time ago, if I ever knew any of you all, I was somewhere I shouldn't have been. One night, in the middle of the summer, in July, I can see me standing there right now. And I heard the voice of God. He didn't say, you this or you that. He said, what are you doing down here? That's exactly what he said. I'll never forget as long as I live. He said, what are you doing down here, Mark? Well, God knows, don't he? I was going down the road one night. I was probably 34, 30, maybe probably 34, 35. I was going down Ball Camp Road. It's 1030 at night. And I remember one time Brother Josh said he was, he was driving his car and he was drunk. As it, but remember you could see out of there's somebody in the car with you. But this time it wasn't an angel that got in the car with me. There was somebody in the car with me that night. See, the Lord, you think that you're going to have a good time, but in all reality, God's trying to ward off what really can happen to us. Just like with Elijah. Elijah had prayed to die, and God said, you're not going to die. I'm going to take you up to heaven forever, and some of us aren't going to die. I believe he's going to come, and we're going to go to heaven forever. I was going down that road. And I'll never forget this. I remember it like it was yesterday. And I could feel the presence of God fill up my car, Ivan. And I'll never forget this as long as I live. And here's what he said. He said, where are you going? I just kept driving. But I heard him, man. Oh, hey, I ever hear. I'll never forget it as long as I live. I'm tell, I'm, I, I've been a few places, church. He said, where are you going? I told him. He already knew, but I told him where I was going. So he let me drive on down there not long. I don't know, not long. And then he said, what are you going to do when you get there? I'll never forget that. Hallelujah, the presence of God. The presence of God is our safety. This is my next. This is where you and I run to. When we're in the presence of God, it doesn't matter what's been coming against you. Ever notice that? The, the world, God said to tell you, the problems, the struggle, the battles, all these things. I've been in some churches, there was no presence of God there. I don't know if you've ever been in a church where there was no presence of God. We're blessed tonight. Glory to God, will you raise your hands and thank you. He doesn't have to show up. He doesn't have to move. But he loves you and I tonight. And I want to say it again. He said, you know, in the world, he said, there, he sees the problems in the battles, he said, and the struggle. But here's what he said. But when, when this presence of God comes, it's like, it's like our escape, isn't it? It's like when he comes, it's like it wouldn't have mattered what happened the whole day. It's like it just goes off our back like people use, use this analogy, like water off a duck's back. And God said when the presence of God comes and we need to stir ourselves again. He said we begin to stir from our slumber. God said you awake from your sleep. And we begin to shout and worship and stand in awe of the one who has come to redeem us, who has come to save my God, to save us tonight. And we stand in the presence of God in front of the Holy One of Israel. And we went here Sunday night and Josh, and everybody, it got so bright. It wasn't the lights. It wasn't anything in the natural. It was God's presence that came. 
And it got so bright, it, it, I wouldn't say it got smoky, but man, it got just as bright. And I remember, man, I was playing on, I knew I was in the presence of God. And everything that had been coming against me that night left. And you know, and I hear about people wanting to get drunk and smoke dope. But God said, you know, when I come, there is no euphoria. There is no presence like my presence. My God, I praise him tonight. He said, when I come, light appears. And I'll just put this in. I want to throw it in my message. I don't know if he told me to put it in, but I'll put it in there. It can get smoky. The glory of God, the Shekinah glory, it's almost like smoke. And praise God, there's fire in the house when the presence of God comes. And we get stirred up and we get awoken and we become changed forevermore. And we become different men and different women. And our mindset is not on the world and not on the flesh. It's on God, hallelujah, tonight. He said, what doest thou here, Elijah? And I've seen this come in. I've seen all of us. It's not a slap against anybody. I've been the same way as you have been. I'm no different than you. And I've seen those weights. And I've seen you heavy. And I've seen you discouraged. And I knew it was all the devil, but I knew, and I say this, and I know I say this all the time. It's not about just coming through the door, that's part. It's not the door or the building. It's the man in the building called Jesus. The power of God's in the building. And God shows up, listen. And I've never, ever, ever, ever and once not had him show up. And he begins to show up and all of a sudden those weights, I've seen people like Janice that time. She had been bound for years. Some of y'all weren't here then. It was incredible. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i talking about in 20 seconds. And the power of God hit her. And she's never been the same to this day. I know she doesn't come to church. I wish she'd come all the time. But, but let me tell you, God has brought that woman such a long way. And he's brought you and I and he's carried us either. He's carried us through the storm and through the battle when we couldn't take another step. Glory be to my king tonight. I said glory be to your king tonight. He's carried you and he's holds you up in the very palm of his hand. But I've never once, never once have ever seen him touch somebody and they've regretted it. Or move on somebody and they just completely are changed in a moment's time because he's the only one that can do it. But that's what he does. So what is it that we need to do? You know what we need to do? We need just to love God. All you got to do is love him. Love him and keep your eyes on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the atmosphere comes alive, it's alive tonight. Brother Harold, when the atmosphere comes alive, everything changes. And the other day, you know, God reminded me, he said, when my presence comes, I remember how hot it was in Alabama. You think it was hot here? Saturday on the lake in Alabama, I've never felt such heat. But then the rain came. And everything began to change. The atmosphere, the, the, the way that I felt, uh, 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 everything, my, my demeanor changed. The, the way I had an outlook before had changed. I had a different outlook. And God said, that's just like when I come, when you've been in the battle. We're in the heat of the battle. But God is the one that's going to send the refreshing, my God, down on his presence in our life tonight. Well, glory be to God. He said, you'll be changed. You know, I know the scripture over in 1 Corinthians as good as anybody. He said, you'll be changed in a moment. Well, I'll tell you something I've never done, and I've never done it. I'm 28 years in this thing, going into 29. I began to think, you know what? That only means when you take us up. That means right now. Because when God comes, He can touch you in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye. And when he touches you, glory to God, I feel the Holy Ghost. So you, you'll be changed.